here's five examples of Pythagoras theorem find the length of the side marked x in the given right angle triangle so we have sides 6 8 and x now the right angle the 90 degree angle is opposite the side x so x is the hypotenuse this is always the longest side now Pythagoras' theorem states that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared where a is the hypotenuse so in this case a will be x and b and c it doesn't matter which we choose to be b and c so we say x squared is equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared so x squared is equal to 64 plus 36 these add up to be 100 so x is the square root of 100 which is 10 example 2 here find the area of this square well we don't have any sides so we'll give it a name we'll call one side x it's a square so the other side would also be x and the area of a square would be length by breadth which would be x by x or x squared now considering the triangle here we see that the, the largest side is 9 so that's our hypotenuse it's opposite the right angle so, so Pythagoras theorem says a squared equals b squared plus c squared so the large side 9 squared is equal to the other two sides squared added together 7 squared plus x squared so 81 is equal to 49 plus x squared 81 take away 49 is equal to x squared this is equal to 32 now we just we don't want x we want x squared in this because we want the area and so its area is in centimeters squared and there's our answer example 3 this looks like a real life type example we're trying to find how high up the, la the ladder is against the wall so we'll call that side x the largest side opposite the right angle is the side 5 the ladder itself so we'll write down Pythagoras' theorem a squared equals b squared plus c squared so the long side 5 squared is equal to the other two sides squared added together x squared plus 3.6 squared so 25 is equal to x squared and 3.6 to be squared is 12.96 so 25 take away 12.96 is equal to x squared. I can write it in front here. And that's equal to 12.04. So x is the square root of 12.04. Now this doesn't give us a, a very nice answer in the calculator. There's a number of decimal places to it. It's 3.469. But we only want it to one decimal place. So this rounds off to be 3.5, and it's in meters. Example 4. Here we have two triangles muddled together. Uh, usually go for the, the first letter that you're asked to get first. So we'll try to find x first. So if we look at the small triangle, we see that x is the hypotenuse of the triangle with sides 3 and 4. So we'll write down Pythagoras' theorem, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. So the long side, x squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. So x squared is equal to 9 plus 16, and 9 and 16 is 25. So x is the square root of 25, which is 5. And there's a nice answer. So we can write this answer in to our second triangle. So we'll just we change the hypotenuse. We're looking at the big triangle this time. We know that the side which was x is actually 5. So we know two sides of this triangle. This time the hypotenuse is 13. That's our large side. So we'll write down Pythagoras' theorem again. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Now the large side is 13. So 13 squared should equal y squared plus 5 squared. 13 squared is 169 
that equals y squared plus 5 squared is 25. So take 25 from 169. This gives us 144 equal to y squared. You might recognize this, that y then is the square root of 144, which is, of course, 12. That's in centimeters. And here we have our last example, example 5. Explain why a triangle with sides 12, 13, and 18 is not a right-angled triangle. Well, it's back to our friend Pythagoras. If it is a right-angled triangle, it must obey Pythagoras' theorem, that the hypotenuse squared equals the other two sides squared added together. Now, which side would be the hypotenuse? Well, it must be the largest side. So let's consider this. Is it true that 18 squared is equal to the other two sides squared added together? Using the calculator, 18 squared is 324. Let's consider 12 squared plus 13 squared. Well, 12 squared is 144, and 13 squared is 169. And when we add these, we only get 313. So they're not equal. Therefore, it cannot be a right angle triangle. So we'll say that 18 squared does not equal. 12 squared plus 13 squared and therefore it follows it's not a right angle triangle. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.